Okie dokie, guys. We need more books. We got some good ones. All right, so then I'll go first. One of my favorites uh, from this past summer was The Orphans of Race Point by Patry Francis. There's three narrators. Two of them are um, Haley and Gus, and their part of the story is how they get thrown together very, when they're very young. And they keep getting like torn apart and like thrust back together all throughout their lives. And the, the third narrator is this teenage girl named Mila. She is the daughter of a woman that Gus is accused of murdering. It was just like beautiful and like heartrending. And you know, you're gonna be like teary eyed. Gotta get the feels. Oh, you get, get the, the feels. feels. Banani, what you got, girl? Um, I also really think that when should be included. During the Civil War, white slave owners would bring their African-American mistresses to these summer resorts so they could sort of have the freedom of pretending to be real couples. And that's based on real Yeah, no, it's, this is a, it's based on this wow. real place that existed. But it's the story of these three women and their friendship that has built over the few years that they've been coming to this place every summer. Um, and then sort of one summer, one of them is like, we need to get out of here. And then... Before that, like, escaping had never even occurred to them, and so now they're thinking about what that would mean, the incredible danger that would put themselves in. So it's a fascinating story. But it's, it's beautifully written. It was her debut novel, and she won the Black Caucus no First Novelist Award. Now you're going to talk about that book, right? Oh my god, this book is so amazing. Simon Van Bowie is the author. He's written several books. But I have to say this one's my favorite, and it takes place during World War II. And it's really about how the actions of one man on the fields of France in World War II and this act of mercy um, affects one person who is connected to another person who is connected to another person. It's just about how we all can affect other people's lives. And it's poetry on paper. I hardly ever underline a book kept doing that too because the passages and just the the economy of his words is amazing and it's totally true i actually wrote notes like in my iphone the new you did the new generation of underlining these books all have um i think i think they're all great books and we all know that they're you know there's some books that just don't lend themselves to book club stuff right but exactly. these really really do there's just so much to talk about I mean, yeah. I could easily go on. Yeah. Which is really cool. I just want to read my books again. Mm -hmm. <laughs>